In the silent embrace of night, where shadows whisper and legends thrive, there lies a secret veiled by time, the moonlit citadel. Imagine a place so profound its very existence could unravel the mysteries of the universe. Now imagine, if you will, Eleanor, a maiden armed with nothing but her indomitable will, standing at its ancient gates. This is not just a story of adventure. It is a tale of destiny, woven into the very fabric of the cosmos. Eleanor, a descendant of a forgotten lineage, was haunted by visions. Night after night, the moonlit citadel called to her in dreams, its silvered spires piercing the veils of sleep. Wrapped in the mantle of her ancestors' unfulfilled quests, she could no longer ignore the prophecy that bound her to this enigmatic fortress. From childhood, the tales of the citadel were Eleanor's lullabies, sung by a grandmother who saw the fire of destiny in her eyes. The ancient texts spoke of a chosen one, pure of heart and steadfast in spirit, who would unveil the citadel's secrets and restore a lost legacy. Confronted with the inevitability of her journey, Eleanor embraced her fate. With each passing moon her resolve hardened, she would journey to the moonlit citadel, not just to discover its secrets, but to fulfill a destiny written in the stars. Eleanor's quest demanded not only courage, but immense preparation. Her days were filled with the study of arcane lore and ancient languages, her nights with deciphering the cryptic symbols that appeared in her visions. Each scroll, each tome in her family's vast library was a step closer to understanding the enigma of the moonlit citadel. In the shadowed corners of her father's armory, Eleanor selected relics and artifacts, each chosen for its reputed mystical properties a sword that shimmered with an ethereal light, a cloak woven from the threads of moonlight, and a compass that pointed not north, but towards destiny itself. Skeptics in her circle warned of folly, while believers bolstered her spirit with tales of heroic quests. Yet, it was the silent approval in her mentor's eyes, a scholar who had once dreamed of such adventures, that steeled her resolve. Eleanor was not just preparing for a journey, she was preparing to step into legend, The journey led Eleanor to the very brink of the mapped world, where the earth whispered of borders uncharted and dangers unseen. Under the watchful eye of a full moon, her silhouette crossed into lands not spoken of in polite company. The air here was thick with the magic of forgotten eras, the ground littered with the bones of those less fortunate in their quests. As she ventured deeper, the landscape grew surreal, trees twisted into agonizing shapes, and the wind carried voices of the lost. Yet Eleanor's heart, armored by purpose, knew only the drumbeat of resolve. Fear clung to her like a second skin, but it did not deter her. It sharpened her senses, honed her spirit. Standing before the looming silhouette of the moonlit citadel, Eleanor felt a profound connection. This was more than destiny's location. It was a testament to her soul's journey. With a deep breath, she stepped forward, her boots crunching on the gravel path as if punctuating her resolve. As Eleanor drew closer to the citadel, the air grew dense with ethereal whispers. Voices, ancient and cryptic, spoke in tongues that twisted the mind, yet her heart understood. These were the guardians of the path, spectral entities that tested the mettle of all who dared approach the citadel. One apparition, more distinct than the others, materialized before her, a warrior ancestor whose own quest had ended in tragedy. His words were a mixture of warning and wisdom urging Eleanor to turn back or to forge ahead with an unbreakable will. Each step now was a battle of wills, a confrontation with her deepest fears and doubts. The path demanded not just physical endurance, but a clarity of mind that could only come from pure conviction. Eleanor continued, her resolve a beacon against the shadowy doubts, her spirit alight with the fire of determination. Legends spoke of them as mere myths, but Eleanor now faced the guardians of the moonlit citadel, beings of immense power, each a gatekeeper to the secrets within. The first guardian, a giant rod of stone and moonlight, posed a riddle of the stars. Only by aligning her knowledge of the cosmos with the ancient teachings could Eleanor pass. Further along the path, a spectral lioness, majestic and terrifying, tested Eleanor's courage. 
It challenged her to a contest of wills, where she had to conquer her inner fears and prove her heart's purity by looking into the beast's all-seeing eyes. With each guardian's approval, Eleanor's journey grew deeper in meaning. These were not just obstacles, but lessons carved into the very essence of her being. They sculpted her resolve, sharpened her intellect, and prepared her for the unimaginable truths that lay ahead. Eleanor's path was haunted not only by spectral guardians, but also by the echoes of her forebears. Visions of them materialized, flickers of their own quests playing out like spectral dramas. She watched her ancestors navigate similar paths, their failures etched into the mist, their successes fleeting and bittersweet. From these spectral visitations, Eleanor gleaned lessons hard-earned by those who had walked before her. She saw the pitfalls of arrogance, the dangers of doubt, and the ultimate price of fear. Each vision left her wiser, weaving her ancestors' experiences into her own fabric of understanding, strengthening her resolve. Carrying the weight of her lineage, she pressed forward her journey enriched by the past. These echoes did not haunt her. Instead, they guided her, illuminating her path with the wisdom of ages, ensuring her steps were measured and her heart was ready for the trials ahead. Before Eleanor stood the Gate of Trials, an imposing structure of ancient stone inscribed with runes glowing under the moonlight. This was the final threshold, the point of no return. Here she faced the most daunting challenges yet, trials that tested her physical endurance, mental acuity, and spiritual purity. The first trial was a labyrinth of mirrors, where Eleanor battled reflections of her deepest fears. Each mirror not only distorted her image, but tempted her with an easier, albeit false, path. Navigating this maze required more than mere intellect. It demanded an unshakable belief in her own identity and purpose. As she emerged, battered yet unbroken from the labyrinth, the final trial awaited, a confrontation with her own shadow, a dark manifestation of all her doubts and fears. Here, she wrestled with her innermost demons, confronting them, understanding them, and ultimately mastering them. This trial was not about defeating what lay within, but about accepting and integrating it, achieving a profound inner harmony. When the gates finally swung open, Eleanor stepped into the moonlit citadel with a mixture of awe and reverence. The interior was a surreal landscape where architecture and the cosmos seemed to converge. Hallways spiraled like galaxies and ceilings mirrored the night sky adorned with constellations that shimmered with an ethereal glow. The air was thick with ancient magic, each corridor whispering secrets of the past. As Eleanor ventured deeper, she encountered artifacts of unimaginable power and beauty, crystals that hummed with celestial energy, tapestries that shifted scenes with her changing thoughts, and statues of previous keepers, their eyes alight with silent knowledge. Yet, despite its splendor, the citadel was permeated with a palpable loneliness, a reminder of its long wait for one worthy to uncover its secrets. Eleanor felt a kinship with this place, an understanding born of shared solitude and purpose. She was no longer a mere visitor, but a part of the citadel's timeless story. Deep within the heart of the moonlit citadel lay the Library of Shadows, a vast hall filled with books that breathed and whispered. Here, Eleanor discovered scrolls and tomes written in the language of the cosmos, each page a fragment of the universe's soul. By the light of a thousand stars held captive in crystal lanterns, she read, the text revealed the true purpose of the citadel, to guard the equilibrium between chaos and order, a balance upon which the fabric of reality itself was threaded. The most profound revelation came from a tome bound in shadow and starlight. It spoke of the keeper's role, not just as a guardian of knowledge, but as a mediator between the cosmic forces. Eleanor realized that her journey was not only about seeking answers, but about maintaining the harmony of existence itself. Navigating through a maze of celestial alignments and ancient mechanisms, Eleanor reached the central chamber of the moonlit citadel on the night of a rare celestial alignment. As celestial bodies converged overhead, the chamber's true function revealed itself. It was an astronomical lock, aligning only once every millennium, 
As the stars aligned, beams of pure cosmic light flooded the chamber, converging on a central dais where Eleanor stood. The light did not just illuminate, it transformed, imbuing her with the essence of the cosmos, knitting her very being into the fabric of the universe. In that transcendent moment, Eleanor understood her role was not only to uncover, but to be part of the cosmic tapestry. She was to become the keeper, a conduit through which the knowledge and power of the Citadel could be channeled, ensuring the balance of the universe was maintained. With the secrets of the moonlit Citadel unveiled, Eleanor comprehended the full weight of her family's legacy. It was not merely about guarding ancient knowledge, but about actively maintaining the cosmic balance that sustained all realms of existence. Her return to the outer world was marked by a profound understanding of her place within the universe. She carried with her not just ancient secrets, but a responsibility to use this knowledge to guide and protect the fabric of reality itself. This realization transformed Eleanor. She was no longer the seeker of truths. She was a keeper, a guardian of the balance between light and shadow, order and chaos. Her legacy was not to be written in the annals of history, but woven into the very essence of existence. The journey back to her homeland was a reflection of her inward transformation. The landscapes that once whispered threats now sang hymns of welcome. Armed with profound knowledge and a new sense of purpose, Eleanor saw the world with new eyes, eyes that perceived the underlying harmony of existence. Her return was not just a physical journey, but a metaphysical one, wherein every step taken was a testament to her new role as keeper. She carried with her not just sacred artifacts, but a sacred duty, to enlighten, to protect, and to maintain the cosmic equilibrium she had been entrusted with. As she crossed back into the familiar lands of her birth, Eleanor knew that her real work was just beginning. The journey to the moonlit citadel was but the first step in a lifelong vigil. Eleanor's return was met with awe and reverence. Her transformation was palpable, her gaze imbued with the depth of the cosmos. She shared her experiences and the profound truths she had uncovered, enlightening her people about the broader universe and their place within it. Under her guidance, her homeland thrived in a new era of prosperity and wisdom. She established a school where the secrets of the Citadel were taught, preparing a new generation for the responsibilities of guardianship. Eleanor's legacy was thus ensured, not through conquest or treasure, but through the dissemination of knowledge and the cultivation of harmony. She had become more than a hero. She was a beacon of light in an often darkened world. The moonlit citadel, once a silent sentinel in the shadows, now stood as a beacon of knowledge and balance under Eleanor's guardianship. Her story, interwoven with the citadels, became a testament to the power of will and the importance of balance in the cosmos. The legacy of the Keeper was eternal, passed down through generations, each new guardian building upon the foundation Eleanor had laid. The dance between destiny and will continued, as did the endless cycle of learning and guarding. And so the moonlit citadel remained, timeless and majestic, its secrets preserved for those who, like Eleanor, were called by destiny.